Hi everyone! Welcome to this barista video. Now for today's video, we're going to talk about the brewing apparatus in this course, barista. Now what we have here first is our V60 hand drip, which is what we use for drip filtration. We also have here your cold drip, which is also used for drip filtration. We also have here in the side, our French press, which is what we're going to be using for steeping. Then we have here our siphon, which is what we use for vacuum filtration. Now, in the middle, we have here your aeropress, which is also what we use for steeping. And another thing about vacuum filtration is our mocha pot over here at the side. V60 Drip Brew. It is simple, clean, accessible. If you're just getting into coffee, drip brewing is a great place to start. You'll probably have seen someone using a hand brew dripper before, an inverted cone shaped funnel slowly draining extracted coffee through a filter. This single cup brewing method is a common place in coffee houses around the world, produces a delicate and sophisticated cup and doesn't require connoisseurship to perfect. The result is a lighter bodied, delicate brew with high clarity of flavor. It is good for brewing more professionally and a way to really start to understand the subtle nuances of specialty coffee. What is cold drip coffee? While cold brew coffee is an immersion of coffee and cold water, cold drip coffee separates the cold water from the coffee grounds completely. The technique requires a cold drip apparatus or drip tower, usually made of three glass vessels that allows iced water to slowly drip over freshly ground coffee. French Press Brewing Method In French Press Brewing Method, the grounds are directly soaked in hot water. This means it's a form of immersion brewing. The coffee grounds are submerged for a few minutes in the hot water rather than a few short seconds. French press coffee is dense and heavy, yet it has its own sort of elegance. As with any method, the devil is in the details. To achieve a full expression of coffee, decant it immediately after brewing so it doesn't become bitter or chalky. Then sink into this rich and heady cup. It only takes 4 minutes to brew. A vacuum coffee maker brews coffee using two chambers where vapor pressure and gravity produce coffee. This type of coffee maker is also known as backpot, siphon, siphon, coffee maker and was invented by Luf of Berlin in the 1830s. These devices have since been used for more than a century in many parts of the world. Design and composition of the vacuum coffee maker varies. The chamber material is borosilicate glass, metal, or plastic, and the filter can be either a glass rod or a screen made of metal, cloth, paper, or nylon. The Napier vacuum machine, presented in the 1840s, was an early example of this technique. While vacuum coffee makers generally were excessively complex for everyday use, they were prized for producing a clear brew and were quite popular until the middle of the 20th century. Vacuum coffee makers remained popular in some parts of Asia, including Japan and Taiwan. The Bauhaus interpretation of this device can be seen in the Gerhards Marx Syntrax coffee maker of 1925. The Aeropress is a manual coffee maker invented by Alan Adler founder of Airpress Inc. It consists of a cylindrical chamber and a plunger with an airtight silicon seal, similar to a syringe. Ground coffee beans and water are steeped inside, then forced through a filter by pressing the plunger through the chamber. It is capable of brewing highly concentrated coffee, which the manufacturer describes as espresso style, but can also be used to brew filter strength coffee or cold brew coffee. The Mocha Pot is a stovetop or electric coffee maker that brews coffee by passing boiling water 
pressurized by steam through ground coffee. Named after the Yemeni city of Mocha, it was invented by Italian engineer Alfonso Bialetti in 1933 and quickly became one of the staples of Italian culture. Bialetti Industries continues to produce the same model under the trade name Mocha Express. So those are all the brewing apparatus that we will be using in this course. Hope you all learned a lot. Stay safe and enjoy the vibe.